Today we're gonna to be talking about probably the most common question I get asked is how do I stay motivated? And if you like this video, I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so that you never miss another episode because my belief is that the harder that we work on ourselves and our mindset, the easier that the external world becomes to navigate. So, <clears throat> so when we're talking about how to actually become motivated and stay motivated, there's a big difference that I need to talk about. The first thing is that everybody wants to be motivated, but motivation is like a spark. Motivation is like a match. You just pull a match and it goes for a little while, but within a few seconds, it's completely burned out. You don't want motivation. What you want is drive. If motivation is the spark, if it's the match, drive is the log that continues to burn. You want to be driven. Because we all know, when you meet somebody who's driven, you know they're driven, like you can see it, there's something in their eyes and you're like, man, this person's gonna plow through a wall to get what they want. That's what you want. You want to be able to have that drive that no matter what happens, you keep going, right? That's what you're looking for, is how to be driven, so driven that nothing ever will stand in your way no matter how crazy it is. So how do you get that? It's very, very simple. You have a strong why right? You have a strong why. When I was younger, I, had a, I hired my first mentor, paid 500 bucks a month to have my first mentor to have phone calls with him, and he completely changed my life. It was one of the best investments, probably actually was the best investment I've ever made in my life. And what he used to say is if the why is strong enough, the how will reveal itself. If your why behind what it is that you're going for is strong enough, if your emotional attachment to your goal is strong enough, the how to do it will reveal itself. If your why is strong enough, your how will reveal itself. So what do I mean by your why, your strong emotional attachment to whatever this thing is that you're going for? Well, everybody has your, you have your goal that you're working towards, right? But do you know why you're going for that goal? <clears throat> have you sat down and figured out your strong emotional attachment to that goal? And so this is the example I always like to give because it usually puts things into perspective and makes a lot of sense for people. If you take person A into person B, right? Person A wants to make $100,000. Person B wants to make $100,000. Same goal. They want to make $100,000 this year. Person A wants to make $100,000 and that's all they know. Person B wants to make $100,000, but they have a why. And let me tell you what their why is. Their why is that they live in a bad part of town. They have two kids and a wife, and he wants to take his children, buy a house. You know, he wants to make this $100,000 so he can put a down payment on a house, take his kids and his wife, and move into a better part of town. And here in America, if you live in a better part of town, sadly, it's just the way that it works, you know, if you live in a better part of town, your children will most likely get a better education. So you have person B who wants to, knows his wife and kids are what he's working for. He wants to take his kids and his wife, put a down payment on a house in a better part of town, and be able to have his children get a better education because if they get a better education, there's a chance they might get, get into a better college. There's even a chance that they might go and get a full ride scholarship and have everything paid for, don't even have to pay for school. And that could completely change their life. Maybe they live in a dangerous part of town and he knows that that dangerous part of town, there's a chance that his kids are in danger. So whenever things get hard, who do you think is gonna keep going no matter what? Well, person A wants to make $100,000 as well, but when they don't have a why behind it, they just want to make $100,000. Person B, every single time that something bad happens, he gets hung up on on the phone, a customer slams a door in his face, he gets a canceled order, he thinks to himself, I might not be able to do it, he's going to think of his children's face, he's going to think of his wife's face, and say, I'm not doing this for me, I'm doing this for them. And guess what? If your goal is big and audacious enough, you will have failures. You will have bumps in the road. But if you have a strong emotional attachment and you can see those faces, you know, or you can see your goal or see who you're working for, see what you're working to do, then when you have those failures, it's easy to get back up. Person A might fail, have a failure and say, eh, it's not that big of a deal. I don't make, need to make $100,000. I'm okay with 50. I'm still alive at 50. I'm still paying my bills at 50. And you know, have a little bit of extra money to have some fun on the weekends with my friends. But person B, man, no matter what happens, they're gonna go through a wall to make sure that they make that money because he knows that in his mind, in a sense, his children's life is on the line. 
and he's the only person that's in control of their destiny at this point in time, right? That's the difference between being motivated and driven. Because you might listen to my words, you might see my videos or listen to my podcast or see the pictures I put up and all of these things and you might get a spark of motivation. But when things get hard, that spark's gonna be dead, right? That, that match is gonna be gone. You want to be driven from within. That motivation that comes from looking and seeing all the stuff that I do is external motivation. You want internal drive. An internal drive comes from having a very, very strong why. So what do you do once you know this why? You tell yourself, I'm doing, so person B, to even get, even get the stronger why, he would say, I'm going to make $100,000 this year. This is the reason why, because I want to take my family out of the spot that they live in, because my children's lives might be in danger. I know that they're not going to get the best education. I want to put a down payment on a house. I want to be able to get them in a better part of town, because I know they'll get a better, edu better education, which means they can get into better colleges, which means that their life could be completely different just for me working my freaking tail off for one year. Right? And what they do, what he does, is he sees that piece of paper, he wakes up every single morning, gets done brushing his teeth, and he reads that piece of paper out loud to himself every single morning. And then before he goes to bed every single night, he reads that piece of paper. He reads that mission statement of why he is doing what he's doing to himself every single morning and every single night. And it's impossible to forget. And guess how easy it is to become driven from within when you have that written down and you stick to this. So if you're trying to figure out how to be quote unquote motivated, you want to be driven. And the way that you become driven is you find out your why behind your goal, your strong emotional attachment to it. And then what you ask yourself is, what's the reason why I'm doing it? Who's, who's behind this? Is it just for me or is this for other people? And you get that strong emotional attachment, you write it down, you read it to yourself every single morning and you read it to yourself every single night. And watch how quickly your life will change when you're doing something for, for, the, for the internal drive versus external motivation. That's what you're searching for and that's how you do it. So if you like this video, once again, I put out videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Hit that subscribe button right here so that you never miss another video because I want to continue to keep putting this stuff up and I, if you're here watching it, I want you to keep watching them. So also if you like it, hit the like button. If you have any questions, I like to answer questions, so type your questions down below. We'll see if I can get some time to answer some of your questions personally. And if you're interested in anything else that I do, events, all of those things, I have a website that's linked down below. You can check that out as well. So I appreciate you watching it. Can't wait to see you on the next one.